I want to be clear, and here are the values that I stand for. I stand for honesty, equality, kindness, compassion, treating people the way you want to be treated, and helping those in need. Be kind to one another? Well, the Ellen DeGeneres Show may not be practicing what they are preaching. Australian radio host Neil Breen is speaking out about his encounter with Ellen back in 2013 when he was a producer of a morning show. Um, now, uh, Neil, no one's to talk to Ellen. So you don't talk to her, you don't approach her, you don't look at her. She'll come in, she'll sit down, she'll talk to Richard. Then Ellen will leave and we'll give you the thing. And, and I sort of said, are you fair dinkum? Oh, I can't look at her. I found the whole thing bizarre. Now the news comes days after it was revealed that the Ellen DeGeneres show is under an internal investigation after claims of a toxic work environment. One current and 10 former employees of the Ellen DeGeneres show claimed in a report to BuzzFeed that they faced racism, fear and intimidation while working behind the scenes on the Emmy winning show. One staffer spoke out and said, that be kind bullshit only happens when the cameras are on. It's all for show. I know they give money to people and help them out, but it's for show. Really? Tell me, I can take it. Executive producers Ed Glavin, Mary Connolly, and Andy Lasner responded to the allegations in a joint statement to the website. They said, we are truly heartbroken and sorry to learn that even one person in our production family has had a negative experience. It's not who we are, and it's not what we strive to be, and not the mission Ellen has set for us. They said that they take full responsibility and are committed to do better and will be better. Go sit in that Ellen jail over there right now. <laughs> now, many of the employees who wish to remain anonymous did say that it was the executive producers and senior staff who were largely to blame for the bad work environment. However, they did say that Ellen should have been aware and should have intervened. One staffer said, I think the executive producers surround her and tell her, things are going great, everybody's happy. And she just believes that, but it's her responsibility to go beyond that. In the report, employees alleged that they were fired for taking medical leave and bereavement days for family funerals. They were also instructed not to talk to Ellen behind the scenes. Another woman said she experienced racist comments, actions, and microaggressions on set in addition to being underpaid. Now, Ellen has been coming under fire as of late. If you remember back in March, comedian Kevin T. Porter started a Twitter thread asking people to share insane stories about Ellen being mean and has since received more than 2,600 replies. Variety then published a report about employees being left in the dark about their pay and other issues amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And then in May, Ellen's former bodyguard spoke out about her, saying that she was very cold. I get to come to work every single day with people who make me laugh. I love everybody I work with. Now, Ellen has yet to publicly acknowledge the backlash, but a source did tell us that she's at the end of her rope. She thought this was all sour grapes from a few haters, but it's not a passing thing. The hits just keep coming.